previously on my trip to Ireland. We've not got a, a cock sock, we've got a cock, cock cover. <laughs> It's show day, the morning of the show. I'm feeling ready. This is the best I've ever looked and I've just got to be proud of it. I've done this, I've worked so hard. But there's been something like 1,200 and something meals since Christmas dinner. And that's 1,200 meals that I've like cooked myself six times a day and not slipped off plan once. I've given it my all, so like I can't, the worst thing to be is in a position where you know you could have done more and I've not left myself to be in that position. I've not given the room for myself to be in that position. I'd hate myself if I was in that position. I don't understand how you can be in a prep and half ass it. I'm one of those people that really give it everything. I've never cheated on my diet once. I've never skipped a cardio session. I've never skipped a training session, no matter how fucked I've been no matter or what, or what else I've got going on in life like I've sacrificed it to be the best that I can be today over the last six months especially but don't get it wrong today has not just been the last six months it's been the last 10 years of my life and the goal is a pro card and if this teenage version of me can see what I'm bringing to stage today it would be very proud and I think that's something that I've really got to hold myself high on because as bodybuilders we self-judge all the time we look at ourselves in a judgmental way because it's, it's a sport where we go on stage and we get judged by others as well as being judged by ourselves so it's hard for us to feel accomplished but I'm gonna have to take a step back today and just say well done to me Next class, that is the men's yeah. light heavyweight. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Get, get, get the fuck up out my face. Money yes, took the side to oh, say. Oh, if you ask me what I want, what you brought me in the case. Now the ops getting wild. Get the fuck up out my way. Oh, yeah. I'm forever on the race. So they catch me in the chase. Get the fuck up out my face. Money took the side to say. Yes, Come on. Come on. Come
judging is done oh my god you can see by my smile I'm, I'm so happy with the package that we brought and regardless of the results this is the best ever Dudley Dixon you have ever seen oh my like I've said before it's it's hard to be proud of yourself as a bodybuilder but what we brought today I'm so proud of so regardless of the result it's it's a win in my books and whenever we come back next after this it's a big off season it, it's going to be crazy there's so much potential for the future here like once you see your potential it becomes an obsession and i think i'm going to get locked into this obsession even more because i've seen myself stand today next to some really good guys and then blow shit out of the water man especially doing my first open debut against guys i've been doing open for ages and i got a lot of muscle maturity um crazy anyway in the open class we're potentially looking at second place i think the guy the older guy had very good muscle maturity and that's all like beat me on age and muscle maturity you know like cows have that muscle you buy more expensive steak from the older cows because the muscle is more mature do you know what i mean i think he just has that um so i think with time open can definitely be a thing i just need that muscle maturity when it comes to classic, I think we, we, we've won that. I got moved into the centre and I don't really see a reason why we, we don't win classic and take it to the overalls. So I'm really happy with that result because obviously classic is the reason we're here to get that pro card in the classic class. It's a sticky one because I just, I, I just don't know where my bodybuilding career is going to go. Is it going to go open? Is it going to go classic? I'm so excited to hear the feedback and then, oh, <laughs> and then work forward from there. So yeah, I'm proud. And I've not really got much else to say. I think we want to say we're proud of watching you up there as well, don't we? Yeah, yeah, amazing. Fucking Fucking, well, I won every shot, I think, in the Classic as well. Definitely. Like I said, just that one guy had a bit more maturity, that were it. That's all. You had the good. conditioning on him, though, so 100%. you could go either way. I, I, think, I think Open can still go either way. Yeah, yeah it can. But I do see me, myself he, finishing he, second. Either you or him, he had the maturity, you had the, you know, yeah. you wrote the but condition. I think, I think he, if they do give me first in classic, they might not give me first in open just to give that guy a run in yeah. overall. I think they might let him win if they have me in classic winning. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. But either or, like, if I make it into overalls in both, then fucking crazy. But hopefully at least I can get into overalls in classic and then, then have a battle there for the pro card and make it all worth it battling for the pro card so we'll see but yeah I've enjoyed this so much I'm so tired I'm ready to go on an all-inclusive holiday I'm ready to see the team tomorrow the physique coach feast Estabula in Leeds six o'clock we're gonna scrant the whole team um, yeah fucking tired I'm done talking I let my feelings take control. Guess I let my demons take the wheel. Used to think that we be wrong. I can't believe that it was real. It was back in late December when I did it. I just wish I could forget. Cause I had much I love it. Oh, I just love to catch a feel. Yeah. I've been wasting my time. I don't know. 
It's hard for me sometimes to not look at these 19 year olds turning pro and these guys my age, like Martin Fitzwater winning the Detroit Pro and then pushing Nick Walker at the New York Pro. It's my age and it's like, ah, I'm a behind. But everyone's got their own journey. Everyone's got their own time. Samson Dowder didn't start bodybuilding until 28 years old. Yeah, he's got insane genetics, but look at him now. There's never been a Mr. Olympia below 30 years old as well. I'm not saying that I'm going to be a Mr. Olympia, but things take time. And we've got to remember that, not just in bodybuilding, but in life. I want you to remember your journey is different to everyone else's journey. Oprah Winfrey didn't start becoming a millionaire until 40, 50 years old. Robert Downey Jr. at my age was homeless. Next minute he's Iron Man. Who else? Morgan Freeman didn't get famous until he was an older person. He didn't become a Hollywood actor until like for what 40 50 so like everyone's time scale is different you can't run on other people's time scales all you've got to make sure you're doing is being consistent every fucking day and if you're consistent every fucking day going towards your goals then of course you're going to get there no matter what the time will come you've got to be patient and you've got to keep working you know when it'll never come if you stop that's the only time it'll never come if you stop so don't fucking stop get your eyes locked in on the goal be a fucking grafter and just give it everything that you've got. Come on, the boys. <laughs> just a little bit. Been a long time since I've had a bit of that. Whis whiskey to get crispy, you not heard that? Hi right, Mark, bro. Mark, yeah, bro. Celebrate with your family and that and then come and have a shot Mark with us. <laughs> you are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy that beat me. He beat me. I'll meet him again one day on a pro stage somewhere. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Bob. That's a good picture. Are you going to show your order? Right, we're going to go get everyone drunk backstage. Because why not? Come on, come on. Whiskey to get crispy, no? Body in the body, no? Yeah. You want a shot? Yo, whiskey to get crispy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Oh, the body, see, you men's physique guys are fucking pussy. Outside, all those bodybuilders are like this outside, men's physique guys. No, it's all right. 
Get me fucking bottom. Okay, I've got to go. All the bodybuilders have gone. Right, men's physique guys, bunch of pussies, yeah, they don't want no JD. So we need to go find some bodybuilders outside somewhere. Because we cannot dance on the stage. <laughs> Believe me guys, it will not look good. <laughs> We're just gonna call the coach. Yo, what's good bro? No overall man. I mean no overall. Yes overall, but no pro cards. We did good. Yeah. Was he close? Yeah, yeah. Let's fall over. Yeah, we'll have a look back on the pictures and see, but it is what it is. It's done now. Like, we just need to figure out what. Every one of you on that stage is good, but that's what you added, bro. 100%. I mean, are you, how are you feeling? What's your, what's your thoughts now? I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I, I, I've got areas to improve, man. Like, I, I need to be better. I need to, I need to be able to walk these things. Please. I can't jump into a pro show looking like this yes. anyway. So. Yeah, you don't, you don't so pro and yeah, I know, but I have, I have to be better anyway, so. <laughs> We smashed it, man. We really did. We fucking smashed it. We know we can grow in a short amount of time. Exactly. But I reckon I reckon we should push up fast. Oh, exactly. Which one do I speak to? Do I speak to the phone? It's done. It's finished. Fresh is done. And finished. Done. Done. Finished. Done. 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 finished. This isn't actually at all for me. We're all sharing this. So I don't want to scan out too much. But we are I'm proud of what we did. And thank you for the support everyone instagram online the community that we got you guys make me want to work harder as well and i'm so proud to lead you guys from the fucking front because we're all fucking winners bro like everyone's journey is different but you just got to be proud of the one that you're on and be your best at all times and as long as you're trying your best and you're giving it everything you can never say oh I could have done better because that's the worst thing knowing you could have done better but this prep I gave it everything now I, I deserve I deserve some of this man it's been what Christmas day then we went to blue Sakura after the regional but that's all <laughs> time to get some flavors in your neck thank you everyone for support with you all team physique coach yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna make some tahitas, me. Cheese! Cheese! Fucking cheese! Oh. I don't need that much. Some salsa in there. We still gotta be healthy as well. We gotta get some greens in there. Got the some chips in there as well. That's a bad idea. Oh, yeah. A couple of chips in there as well. Dip it in here. I don't even know what this is, but. Ten, 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 ten. Love, you can love. Go, go, go.
I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been around me in this prep and supported me online, in person, it all means a lot. I know sometimes I can go into my dungeons, into my head and just graft, but the understanding support system that I've got around me, everyone at Ultraflex North Leeds, who understand what I'm going through here, what I'm grafting for, understand the goals and the mindset, and also you guys on Instagram showing me love, it really, it really it gives me that boost. And the atmosphere that I've created of the physique coach community online is insane. Um, I appreciate all of you so much, and I hope that I can help driving you to your goals by me just doing me and reaching my goals. I want to be that coach that leads from the front. I don't just want to stand on the sidelines. I want to be a good athlete and a great coach. Um, hopefully we can be a great athlete and a great coach by, by turning pro, but we'll, we'll see. I'm still an all right, I'm like a mediocre athlete, but that, that could all change as long as I keep working hard. Oh,